surprised, uh, very surprised. Uh, I thought we had a good week of work. Uh, uh, the glaring uh, shortcomings we have, like you said, were exposed. And the, the number one off the top of my head is our red zone offense. You know, you go down there three times, two field goals, one missed field goal, and that's going to score points. And we've never had this issue, so we're going to get the, a real thorough evaluation of that and, uh, and the big plays on defense. Rob, go ahead. When you're in this situation, do you feel like you have to be perfect in terms of uh, asking? It has to be perfect for you guys to have a shot. And that's just too much to expect of a guy? No, not at all. It's just uh, when I look up at the board, I see the rushing yardage again, and, and we're just going to, you know, we just got to get something going. You can't just throw for 400 yards and then, uh, you know, that's worked a few times, but down the stretch here, we got to get some run game. So you can't be dependent on him only, obviously. Obviously not. Clay? Is this something you can fix in two weeks? Sure. Yes. The, the problems are easy. I mean, we can see what... We have good players, good coaches, and we can get to work. Uh, we lost a game last year and came right back, so we have good guys, and we're going to work our, you know, what's off and get, get this thing right. Over here to the left, Bill. Urban, you, you mentioned these, these issues have been persistent throughout the year. Maybe you just touched on it there, but... but what? Why is this staff capable of, of getting things fixed when you've had, you know, seven games to this point and it doesn't seem to be any progress made in the areas you're struggling? That's a good question. Uh, we're seven and one, and the objective is to get to the eight and one and find a way to get these things fixed in the bye. We can get some guys healthy. You know, we're we're on uh, on fumes in the back end of our defense right now, so we got to get some guys healthy. And there are a lot of teams who run the ball out of the shotgun. What, why is it such an issue? If it was that uh, easy, uh, you know, one sentence answer, I'd give it to you, but it's not that easy to answer. So we're going to work real hard and get it fixed. Austin, Irving, you have been up front the last couple of weeks that you didn't think that the depth was where you wanted it, that the run game wasn't coming along. Did you think that something like this was looming or coming around the corner for you guys? No, I, uh, I thought we were going to come out here and play our tails off. And, uh, and I think you know, we had opportunities to get right back in it, and you know, you know, and, and every time you thought we were going to swing and get back in it, you didn't score in the red zone. You turn over, have a turnover, or we give up a big hit. Tim, yeah, Urban, is there a sense that some things need to be sort of blown up in the next two weeks by you guys, or some things that need some drastic change? I mean, what's just your thought as you as you leave here? I mean, obviously, run defense, like you said, gave up a couple of big pops again. The pass defense did too. And then the run game's not there. Just what, what's just that thought? I don't know if it's blowing up. You know, once again we're seven and one, and we got to get the chance to be eight and one. That's the only focus. And and but there's there's some serious uh, shortcomings right now. We got to get fixed. Ari, Urban, you talk about how you're constantly <laughs> assessing things, and uh, that's a never-ending process. How much do you have to assess your coaching staff, and can you evaluate the job they did in getting this team prepared for this game? That's part of this whole week, and uh, you know, I do love our coaching staff, and, and uh, I want to make sure that you know we're gonna we're gonna have some a lot of work get done this week. Doug, Urban, have there been times during your career when you guys when you've made drastic changes in scheme or the way you're attacking teams in the middle of the year? If you decide to do that, how how hard or difficult is that to do? Uh, a bye week gives you a little bit of time, uh, but you know you're. Week, uh, what are we? Seven one. Week eight, nine. You're you're into it now. Uh, number one thing you got to find out about the health of our team, and that's that's hard to do right now when you to make drastic changes when you're dealing with uh, a banged up football team. Last couple of questions, front row here, Austin, uh, Adam. Yeah, Urban started with a false start tonight, first play, and then a lot of penalties. Why why, why was that in your mind? So so many penalties for you guys tonight. Yeah, it's. Uh, not the first, uh, I mean, we had a handful of them a couple games ago, and that's uh, been an issue this year. You know, the one that just, the, the punt, the running the punter, I was one of those ones you just, I can't remember the score at the time, but I think it was still within, uh, 14 what's it? 14 6. 14 6. Yeah, just uh, <clears throat> not, uh, not very disciplined, and, you know, I think they're effort penalties, but just, I mean, ridiculous. And final question over here to the right, Steve. Hey, Coach, along those lines, the fake field goal right before halftime, just what what have you got called there? What didn't get executed? And I don't know if you guys were down at halftime because of that emotionally, but that puts you in a big hole down 11. 
when they yeah. scored right after it. Yeah, what was the score when they it went? It was 7-3 to three when they were yeah. lining up, they were going to be up 10-3. 10 three. Three, yeah. Yeah, and I think we just missed a field goal, right? Is that what yeah, happened? Yeah, they had been at your end, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah that was, uh, you know, obviously we uh, have a little bit of a tendency there. And uh, they executed and we did not. So it's, those are all part of the things i got to evaluate. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you. Much.